nutrient export for only 50 bucks. Hey guys, Dev with Reef Dudes, and today we're going to talk about how I built a DIY cheddar reactor for only $50. So I picked up this old Vertex reactor for about 50 bucks, which is kind of the heart of the whole system. Now this thing's been working pretty great. If you remember my previous videos, I had a 90 watt Evergrow LED that sat right here and it did an amazing job. It kept my phosphates at 0.03 or lower, which was pretty much right on the money. Now, the reason I built this is because I want to turn this area into a frag section and I needed the space. So putting in the chater reactor let me free up this whole chamber, which is going to be great for frags and cleaning up my display tank. Now the hardest part of this thing was actually really just plumbing it in. So I have my media reactors on the side fed off this manifold. And I used the stock plumbing. I had to find a bunch of plumbing parts and adapt it and cut little PVC chunks and glue it. But I eventually got something that fit and worked just about perfectly and for the right height. Now for mounting it, I 3D printed some brackets that hold it up nicely along the back edge of the glass. You could probably just rest it on the sump baffles, but I wanted to float it just above it. Now for actual lighting it, these are just some cheap LED like the SMD 5050 strip lights. You can buy on Amazon for 15, 20 bucks. I had these laying around from some previous projects, so that helped and made it nice and cheap. It puts out a ton of light. Um, it's a little warm, not too bad though. Day one, so 24 hours after installing it, so it's had one full night of letting the fuge. Um, it's a little bit sparse in there, but looks not too bad. Day two, still fairly sparse, probably a bit of growth, but nothing too crazy yet. Day three of the Chato reactor, it finally looks like I'm starting to see some noticeable growth. Really starting to fill in there. That's great to see, it's starting to do its job. This is day four, the reactor seems doing pretty well and it's starting to get fuller and fuller, so it's definitely doing its job. So things so far so good, a couple more days and hopefully it'll be nice and packed. Day number five. Day six, it's starting to get pretty thick. Look, day seven of the Cheeto reactor, it's looking pretty full. Day 8 of the Cheeto reactor, it looks like it's getting pretty close to being full and almost ready to harvest. It's growing well. But now this has been running for two weeks and you can see the Cheeto inside is just packed. Like this thing needs to be emptied. Desperately, but it's doing an amazing job. There's a little bit of an air bubble on the top, which you can see. A bit of the Cheeto, but it's starting to bust through the plate at the end, so. Now for running this, when I turned my 90 watt LED off, I let it run for a week or two to see where my phosphates were at. And they raised up to 0.14, so it was a decent amount of phosphates. I put this on and after running it for about a week and a half, they were down to 0.08. So there's a good jump decrease in phosphates from this running, so it's not quite as powerful as my 90 watt LED yet, but give it another week or two and hopefully it'll bring it right down to where it was before. So, so far I'm pretty impressed considering, you know, the size of this package. Now mounting it sideways was a good way to free up space, so something you guys want to consider. Every one I've ever seen has been vertical, this is the first one I've done horizontally, but it's been working great. So hopefully we're going to have some frags in this sump soon. Now this build's pretty darn easy, you take a tube, you wrap some lights around it, and you put shade on the side, so there's not too much to it. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have built your own shader reactor, let me know how it's working, I'm really curious to hear your guys' experience as well. So if you guys enjoy this, hit that like button and make sure you guys are subscribed to keep up to more great videos from Reef Dudes.